Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 9 and 10 of Banner of the Stars. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> Shouldn't even be sleepy, it's only 3.56, but ugh. Yeah, they're getting ready for battle. <laughs> A lot of people about to die today. That's the thing with this. And I hate to say that, but like... Ugh. Because the biggest thing is, like, with this, the angst, everything is riding on this. Like, I mean, of course, like, once again, Lafayette and her team, they ain't dying. But, like, we, we looking at everybody else besides this team right here. Unless it goes into, like, something where we are close to a near-death experience for this team, I don't think it's going to happen. There's probably going to be a point where... We're going to have a what the fuck happened last week where they were out of power um, to, you know, hyper stream and everything. And so they had to rely on someone else and they sacrificed themselves for them in order for them to get back. That could happen again this week. But then at the same time, like really, truly anything could happen. <sighs> That's weird. We didn't go up. Oh, there we go. Now you go off. And I think next week, I think we have, like, the last two or three episodes for this season before we get on to the final season. I think it's three. Why, though?
My. Really? Yeah, honestly, I don't think so either. I, I think, you know, even at the beginning of this, I never would have thought that she would have became a captain, even by now. I mean, in a way, somewhat, she is living her dream. So you basically went to follow in your mom's footsteps. <laughs> I mean, it's basically just working in minds. But also just like with this, with that, you would constantly have to worry about death because you never know, like you could get a cave in. Aww. Damn, they make me want to relax too, but you know, I can't do that until like 6 o'clock tonight.
get on now. Really? Hmm. That makes sense. I mean, are we kind of suggesting that these two are going to have a kid by the final series? I mean, that's the biggest question, but like, can they really? I mean, we've asked this before.
Yeah, but something tells me, like, they're gonna find a way to get out of that circle, like, mmm. Exactly. And <laughs> you guys don't give two shits about that. Like, seriously. Okay, what are you worried about? Okay. Oh, you know, my it, it, just for it to be good for the company, you know, good for the world, good for the kingdom, you know. This is that and the third. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Is that the reason why they're taking the mines out? Like...
just watch like once they get on the other side of that they're not gonna enjoy what they're gonna see okay no nothing on the fire thank god Okay. 50! 50 hours! <laughs> Something good. Uh, I could do it. Once again, let's talk about, like, I mean, Lafayette, she's still doing a damn good job. Being a captain of anything, spaceship, freaking regular ship, anything being a fucking leader i mean you have to deal with certain things this this is about to get nuts i mean it already has gotten nuts with what the fuck is about to go on really i feel like like i said at the beginning a lot of people will be dying in these next few episodes how many probably a lot to the point where we may not even get a number i mean especially with the fact is that all the captains had that meeting last week um, and such, I felt like three or four might die, and then they come back, and they're like, okay, well, let's celebrate, you know, not only our win, but our loss, to the fact is that we lost so many people for this. I mean, even the fact is that, you know, Lafayette, like, thought about, you know, the people who sacrificed themselves for them in the previous episodes, I feel like the reason that they're gonna they showed that is maybe because she might make a sacrifice. Not for herself, but for someone else. I don't think she's going to come to a moment where she's like, Okay, yeah, I'm sacrificing my team. Her team, her crew is too important to her. But who fucking knows? And then the brothers, I still have nothing to say about the brothers. I mean, I've, I've said everything. Their little bickering back and forth, I love it. Stop. Don't make me cry. I don't want to cry in the next episode. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. They would add, like, something else action to this. But don't make me cry in this next episode. Please don't. They really added something action to this. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, this was a really interesting episode. Uh, like, once again, this also felt like, half of it felt like, once again, the calm before the storm. How the fact is, everyone was just like, okay, go, go nap. Go chill. Because... Once we get back from this nap and everything, it is just, we're starting. And we may not come back alive. That's the biggest thing. I, like, the one thing that I'm thinking about overall, every the more and more I get into this series, the more I'm just thinking, 50 out of 50, what if y'all don't come back alive? You know, what if y'all die? What if this happens? What if that happens? There's so many big old what ifs with this show. Um... Essentially, I do love the fact that, you know, with Lafayette and Jean Toe explaining, especially really Lafayette, explaining, you know, the three stages of life of and of her kind and everything. And then I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, we, we know that you're in the first stage and we know what the second stage is. What the hell is the first? I'm saying that it's apparent and stuff. But still, like, I don't, because half of me thinks that, yes, they're planning it for these two to be together by the end of the series. But at the same time, because, like I said, I've asked this before, can they pro-produce? That, uh, reproduce, that's the word, Deja. Oh, my God. Mm. Can they reproduce? That's something that we've never truly really seen on this show. So it's like, yes, no, maybe. Or, I mean, it's because of the fact that still at the end of the day, Jito is still a fucking human. How does that work? Is he like, oh, I cannot believe I'm about to compare this to the recent series of a season of American Horror Story. 
is he gonna be become is he gonna become pregnant and such because come on now if you have not seen american horror story season 10 or just anything with aliens in general you're thinking it's like hell we can even go into motherfucking fairly odd parents when freaking cosmo got pregnant and i was like okay hold up I, I, like seriously is it gonna be like that is he gonna experience it if something happens between these two i don't know i mean because like, there's so many freaking unanswered questions that i can't but that is all i'm going to say about the first half of this episode but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode 10 okay episode 10 in three two one go Mm. Of course, those will come back to haunt you. Oh, and they divided. That's exactly what they're doing. They are literally dividing and conquering, but times a thousand. Oh my god. There would be a second one. You know what? No. What if they have umpteen waves incoming? Oh my god. This is only the second of like umpteen thousand. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. 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 Oh my god. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm stressed. <laughs> like, oh my god. See? Mmm. Now just imagine if this episode ends on a cliffhanger. <laughs> oh my god. That would piss me off.
Yeah, they're already doing that. No. Because even if you hit one, once you hit one, they disperse and they become even more mines. So then, now the biggest question is, how do you defeat it? See, there you go. There's one. One by one, everyone is going to die. Okay, what? Like, seriously. It's still not enough time. It's too long. If it was like 30 minutes, then yeah, that would be good. But for six hours... You can't avoid that.
know I would. Oh God! Oh, oh God. Yeah, been in a ship. like that. Mm. And they're just destroying them like it's nothing. Of course. Yeah, they don't care.
it is, but what else can you do? God, this just reminds me of a game of chess, and this is why, it's literally why I can't play chess. It's too effing stressful, and I hate being stressful. Like, I, I'm good, I'm smart, but I am not fucking good at chess, or even Chinese, like, checkers, nah. You have to have, there are like very smart strategic moves and sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad, but like, oh my God, this is stressful and I don't like it. And the fact is that people are dying all around them and they can't do anything. There's more of those mines. There's one more? Of course there is. Of oh, fucking course there is! Oh god.
-hmm. If they only came so many seconds earlier, they wouldn't have died. A little time. A little time, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll take countless more. Mm -hmm. Oh, five hours? Oh my god, I don't know how they're gonna. Ah! Five hours is not enough. Five hours is too long. Like, no. Oh, my God. First it was 50. Now it's five. Like, oh, five hours. Five long, gruesome, torturous hours. Like, oh, God. I couldn't do it. I could not. No. No. Mm-mm. No. Oh, my God. This was just... These two episodes was just like stressful times a fucking thousand. Like it was just like it, there were moments where it lit a fire up in their butts and my too, and I was just like, oh god, like yes, you're doing good, you're doing good. The fact is, dude, like he saved Lafayette, thank God, but then he died. They they still tried saving him though, but still he died. Like once, like oh my god, once they got hit. They knew that there was nothing else that they could do. Oh my god. Everybody. All the freaking lives that have just gotten lost between these last two episodes. Specifically this episode. Oh Jesus, I can't. Huh. And I think, like I said, I think we got like two more episodes of this show before we're done and we go on to season three. Oh, my lord. I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. No, 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 no. The preview. I don't like the preview at all. No. The stress. S T R E S S A K A me. Hella me. Like, oh my god. This is too much. This is too much. Mm hmm. This is, this is too fucking much. Oh my god. I can't do this. I can't do it. This is, oh, God. No, 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 no. I don't want this. I don't want this. Especially with the fact is that the fact is, and probably that temperature rising ish, that's not going to happen until the second half of the, of, of the next episode. That's all. That's all. But like, oh my God. Mm, I hate the fact that they showed me that because it's like 50 out of 50. They could die by the end of this. But the, of course that's not going to happen. But still, you know, stress and you think about it and you be like, bro, I don't want this to happen. And then it happens. I have nothing else to say. Other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episodes 9 and 10 of Banner of the Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Thursday for everybody else for either the final two episodes of the show 
or just you know episodes 11 and 12 i'm not really 100 percent sure yet um because i i because like, it's been a while since i've like because i know i messed up the last time it's either 12 or 13 episodes but when i do the next two that's when i'll figure it out but until then i will see you guys all next time bye